With their debut single barely released, coincidentally on Creation Records, as was the Mary Chains first, Ride are already one of those bands being tipped for bigger things. They feature a lot of guitars, feedback, melody and youth. Ancient beatbox, as the name suggests, is the strange and inventive marriage of traditional instruments, primarily bagpipes and the hurdy-gurdy, with the modern technology of sampler and synth. Both Paul James and Nigel Eaton have parallel lives in folk jazz outfit Blosabella. Ancient beatbox is experimentation and recreation. Struck by the sounds they produce, Snub shot a clip to accompany the forthcoming single and talk to the pair. Made some some demos for the for the for the music that's on the Ancient Beatbox album, um, two or three years ago, and then uh, we played the played these uh, these very rough demos on our PA at Blazabella gigs, and um, so many people came up and said they liked it. Yeah, why don't we release we it? We thought yeah. we'd better do something with this. We didn't sit down and decide, you know, oh let's mix this with that. Absolutely not. We just when we get together, that's what comes out. It's that simple. Really. Yeah, I play Hedy Gurdy and Paul plays. Bagpipes, and we both play a bit of keyboards and yeah, interested, in, saxism. interested in programming. And, yeah, and um, we're just like getting together and you know, writing it. And it's, it's very pure, it's, it's just two of us. It's just two of us. It's not like in a band where you're fighting everybody else all the time. And it's uh, the two of us, can, we have actually quite different ideas, but because but, there's a bit of sort of friction between us, um, 
uh, it seems to work for us anyway. <laughs> we play instruments we do, it's sort of like an accident, you know, you grow up and he for some peculiar reason started playing the hurdy game. I mean, there's no rhyme or reason for it really, it sort of happened partly through his dad's and I, I started playing things like bagpipes and saxophones and stuff. For, I don't really know why, it just sort of happened, you know, and, um, but there was no desire to create some sort of uh, authentic music. I mean, what is authentic music and who really cares? Belgium, home of the sometimes dubious new beat, come some pranksters called Sasha Muzak, who claim they have a new sound, news beat, the sound of political dancing. This is their homage to the number one political figure of the time. <laughs> Ну 
The Jesus and Mary chain burst onto the scene in 1985 and immediately attracted acclaim and controversy in equal measures for their use of noise and feedback and the wild scenes at their concerts. Hardly the most prolific of bands, every release has marked a departure and a step forward and has been greeted with appropriate praise. Off camera, the retiring Jim Reed talks about the Mary chain and from the current album Automatic, shot live is Take It and Gimme Hell. I mean, we only ever put out records when we think it, we've got something worth putting out. I mean, I find that the whole like, record of year business, that makes me sick. I mean, videos to me, when we started, we never even, we never considered the videos. You know, you think, I want to make a record, and you know, the idea of making a record seems like so far away, and we got, got to the stage that we made a record, we're on Warner Brothers, and we thought, you know, Christ, we've got to make a video, and we just didn't know what to do. So we decided that the, the music was sort of like chaotic, sort of, Manic, so quite sort of like extreme, and we wanted to make a kind of a three-minute film that would that would sort of just like go hand in hand with a, what you're listening to. I can't kind of bide these videos that are like you know, some kind of James Bond, you know, like, you know, like, you know storyline. I think that's just utterly ridiculous. <laughs> We are kind of like, we are, you know, up against the music business, we are nothing, you know. These days I'm content to make music that that I feel proud of. I realise these days it's as simple as saying we make great records. And it might not change the world, it might not change the music scene, but it makes a, you know, it makes a lot of people feel better. And it makes me proud, you know, and that's, that's what we're about now.
we're about quality rather than quantity and you know we'll have a record out whenever it's ready, that's all I can say. And that's the way if everybody like you know looked at music that way, I mean the charts would be you've been a, you know, a lot healthier to say the least, you know. If we ever get to the stage where we're just repeating it, we're doing the same thing over and over again. I just like, I hope I hope I've got the guts to give up, you know, because I don't really want I don't want it to be like that. I want yeah, you know, I want us to be sort of I don't know, maybe breaking new ground, I don't know, whatever. Like even something that's a change for me. I don't I don't really care too much what people say about it, but I have to feel that we're doing something different. We're doing something that nobody's done before.